Hello one and all, this is Luckless Love Locks back with Danganronpa, and let's see who's at the door. I assume it's Kyoko, but who knows, this game... It's her. K Kyoko? Hey. I'll be waiting for you in the dressing room. See you there. Hey, hey, hey wait, Kyoko? Without acknowledging me, Kyoko disappeared into the depths of the darkened hallway. I know we're not supposed to go out during nighttime, but... I can't just not go. Hmm. I wonder, wonder what she's up to. Hey. Sorry for asking you to meet me with uh meet with me so late. It's okay, I'm used to it. Correct. Indeed. So then. Well then, let me get straight to the point. It's something you can't talk about in front of the surveillance cameras, right? So does that mean? Does that have something to do with whatever it is you stole from Monokuma? Monokuma told us earlier that someone had stolen something from him. Was it you? Indeed. That's right. So I was right. But what did you steal? So... I stole this. A key. Ah, a mono key. But looking at it, I could tell it wasn't just any key. It was shaped like Monokuma. It was probably the only key of its kind on Earth. Where did you get this? So... From the headmaster's room. What? You snuck into the headmaster's room? But wasn't it locked? However... The lock was broken. What? Correct. It was Sakura. She did it for us. She did? Indeed. Remember what she said in her note? I'm not going to just lay down and die. I will fight you. So Sakura broke into the headmaster's room for us. That's right. That's right. So that we could uncover whatever secrets might lay hidden within. She did that for us. She violated the school regulations to help us. She'd already decided to die, so her last act was to defy the rules of this place. Indeed. I noticed the room was open after the class trial was over yesterday. But if I just strolled into the room, Monokuma would have noticed right away, which is why. I used you as a decoy. So you asked me to meet you at the data center in order to... Correct. Correct. I wanted you to draw Monokuma's attention. I took that opportunity to sneak into the headmaster's room, and as a result, I found this key. Wow! Then, what you told me about yesterday, did that come from the headmaster's room, too? Yukuro Ikusaba. The 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Did you find out about Mukuro Ikusaba while you were in there? Indeed. I did find a file in the headmaster's room that talked about her, yes. I don't know all the details yet, but... One thing I do know is that Mukuro Ikusaba is dangerous. D dangerous? In other words... She may very well be the mastermind. The mastermind? But didn't Alter Ego say that the headmaster was probably the mastermind? Wrong. No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind, I'm sure of that. What? I don't have proof yet, but I, I have no doubt I'm right. To make such a strong statement without proof, it's not like Kyoko at all. But if it isn't the headmaster, does that mean Mukuro Ikusaba really could be the mastermind? Anyway... Anyway, this key is the one big opportunity we've been waiting to get our hands on. Now that we've grasped it, we can't let it go, can we? Sure, but I, I mean, uh, what's this key even unlock? So... I don't know yet, which is why... <clears throat> I need you to draw Monokuma's attention again. While I go find out. Wait, so you're planning on sneaking back in again? You can't! That's way too dangerous! And you want me to draw his attention? But we don't actually know there's just one mastermind, right? If there's more than one person watching us... Is that right? But they didn't catch on last night, right? Maybe we just got lucky. Hey. 
Or maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Huh? Like I said, we didn't get caught last night. But as you said, maybe it was pure luck. Which is why we're going to run the experiment one more time. And if we're successful again, then what may have just been a lucky guess will be proven true. As Kyoko talked, she was calm and collected as ever. Couldn't help but just stand there and listen. Hey. If it's true that the Mastermind can't watch us and control Monokuma at the same time, then there would have to be a period of time where the Mastermind is vulnerable. What we need to do is find out for sure if that's actually true, and if we can exploit it. Maybe, but no matter what the reward, the risk is just too high. When I, when I think what might happen if we fail. Why is that? I don't think you need to worry all that much, after all. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. No restrictions have been placed on our efforts to solve the mystery, am I wrong? Even when I took the key, I didn't break any rules as far as I could tell. But if the Mastermind decides to do something, all the rules in the world won't matter! He could just kill us all without a second thought! I see. I see. In that case, even if the plan fails, we'll still be able to prove or disprove that hypothesis. What? Correct. In a moment of crisis, will the Mastermind break their own rules or adhere to them no matter what? In other words... In other words, we gain something whether we succeed or not. Now there's no reason not to do it, right? But If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. That's... Those are wise words, actually. We know the danger. But if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Hey. Am I wrong? At that moment, I finally realized... I had never seen the slightest hint of fear or despair in Kyoko's eyes. Her game gaze was firmly fixed on the mystery ahead. The enemy standing before us. And with that in view, she just smiled. <laughs> I can't change how I feel. I wouldn't if I could. Then Kyoko took something from her coat pocket and held it out to me. Huh? What's this? It's true. Consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it. If something ever happens to me. If something happens! However... I'm not planning on dying, but there's always a chance of it, and a death without meaning is unappealing. Hey. Please, I want you to hold it onto it for me. Fine, uh, hold on to it, just, just because you asked me to. But I'm gonna give it back at some point. You can be sure of that. Indeed. Yes, of, of course. Hey. Oh, and one more thing. You can't tell anyone else about what I've discovered. Sure, because then there's a chance the Master might find out, right? Indeed. Well, there's that too. Huh? You mean there's something else? Well. It's nothing. For forget I said anything. I, I can't just forget that easily. So then. Okay then. Shall we begin? Makoto. I'm counting on you, Makoto. Just have to get Monokuma's attention, right? Well, I'll give him my best shot. Goodbye. I'm going on ahead. The rest is up to you. Her curt goodbye was no different from any other time. And like every other time, she moved at a brisk pace as she left. What wasn't like every other time? Was the sudden knot I felt in my stomach as I watched her walk away? No, everything's gonna be fine, I know it! Because it's Kyoko. Talking to myself helped shake off some of my anxiety. And then I got to work. What are we gonna do to create a distraction? Okay, let's do this. Hey, Monokuma! You could see me, right? Get out here, I've got a bone to pick with you! Then a few moments later... Monokuma appears! Well, well, this is a surprise. You being the one to call me out. Hey, hey! By the way... Huh? Most 
suspicious. What were you and Kyoko up to? Going to the bathhouse? Just the two? In the middle of the night? Definitely a hot and steamy moment, wouldn't you say? So warm and wet, so wet and warm. I bet you guys. Removed to conform with local and international censorship laws. All over her, didn't you? Not gonna talk, huh? Sure, I get it. Well, whatever. Unlike you, I have absolutely no interest in late night bath scenes. <laughs> Because I like to maintain a healthy life of observation. Far away from X-rated exploits. Oh. So is that why there's no surveillance cameras in the bathhouse? Wow. Bullseye! Or is it maybe because the lens gets all fogged up and you can't see anything anyway? Sounds like that's the bullseye to me. You need something? Anyway, you went to all that trouble to get me out here? Now what do you want? Oh, well, um... It's just something I wanted to confirm with you. Say what? Whether I'm a mademoiselle or a dude, fella? Actually... But in the bear kingdom, there is no male or female. Um... Actually, there is. What? Seriously? My entire existence! <laughs> then, then what am I? My entire existence! This is kind of depressing. That's enough. I'll get stuck if I think about it too much. So what did you really want to ask me? Oh, well, um... You told us earlier that your precious had been stolen. What's this precious of yours? What are you thinking? Listen. I'm sure this is a silly question. No way it's possible and all, but... Is that seriously what you dragged me out here to ask me? Unbelievable. You gotta be kidding me! You gotta be 100 megaton freaking kidding me! You're not gonna ask something useful? <clears throat> like how to get the best honey? Or ursine breeding tips? This is just crazy. Are all PBS and Team Boys as nutty as you? What the heck? God, you're so annoying. Fine, I'll tell you. It was a key. And bleep, 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 bleep. <laughs> I don't know how to how to represent stars in dialogue. Sensor. That's it. What was the second thing? It's a blank, stupid, a secret. Fill in yourself. Making me trud all the way out here for that. I like to see what's going on in that brain of yours. And the next time you summon me for something so stupid, I'll open up your skull and find out. Damn. Dropping more than a few swear words. Monokuma stormed off. <sighs> that was pretty stressful. But I kept him distracted long enough. Now all I can do is wait and hope Kyoko makes it out okay. No, she'll be fine. It's Kyoko after all. I'm sure she's fine, right? I went back to my room and laid down, doing my best to settle my nerves and get back to sleep. Oh, TV. Theater, brought to you by Spike Junsoft Company Limited. That's it. Wait, what? Sakura's Revenge. 
The game the world has been waiting for. Oh, I missed it. Oops. <laughs> hmm. This super stylish, super fashionable game was canceled during a development. But I'll start back up again if Dang and Ropa sells well. Then you guys have to recommend it to your friends too. All right, guys. Recommend it to your friends. <laughs> oh man, what a strange game, guys. What a strange game. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. My body feels so heavy this morning. Must be because I was up so late last night. Anyway, I need to get to the dining hall. Hmm. That was such a strange uh, Monokuma theater last night. But let's find out what happened to Kyoko. Watch is not here. You're one minute late, Mikado. How do you explain this? Sorry, I'm not feeling so great today. What's your problem? You really think a tired excuse like that is, is gonna work? Huh? Huh? Are you allowed to talk again? Hmm. I don't recall giving you permission. <laughs> I, I just thought, I, I mean, since today had passed, uh, maybe it reset? Mm -hmm. Sorry, please don't hate me. Whatever my punishment is, I'll accept it. I'll hang a sign for my neck that says, Bad girl, I'll clean your bathroom with my toothbrush. If you stop making disgusting comments like that, maybe I could forgive you? <laughs> Thank you, I won't make any more d d d disgusting comments, I promise. If I do, you can s s stuff my mouth full of trash. <laughs> as long as it's you and no one else, I d d don't mind. <sighs> it's no use. She's disgusting to the bone. So, um... Anyway, where's Kyoko? I haven't seen her this morning. Could it be? Not cool. This is worse than being late for lunch. For a date, for your wedding, for anything. Um... Maybe she's mad about what happened yesterday and she's not going to show up anymore? I can't tell the others why Kyoko might not be here. The best thing to do right now is just keep quiet. Very strange. Whatever her reason... I'm curious to know what she is doing. I know she's not in her room, so... You know? Oh yeah, you still have her key, right? What's this? Uh, are you looking for Miss Kirigiri? What? What? Whoa, what do you want now? Hey! Hey! I'm right. Uh, right? You're wondering where Miss Kirigiri is, right? Do you know where she is? Ooh. Hmm, well, it's hard to say. Huh? Huh? You don't know either? What? It's because he doesn't know. That's why he's here, to try and prod us for information. Uh-huh. Hey, don't you hate it when you ask someone what their favorite movie is? And they name some indie bullcrap? This is very suspicious. I feel like I'm getting whiplash the way he changes his subjects like that. Thank goodness, it looks like Monokuma really didn't notice. So I guess our plan went off just fine last night. Which could mean... Hey. Maybe the Mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Could she have been right about that? Hey! Hey! So... Was I right? You're looking for Miss Kiragiri? Any idea where she might have gone? Hmm. We have no idea. What the heck? And even if we did know, we wouldn't tell you. What the heck? For serious? Hmm. 
Hmm, I see. Well, fine. Whatever. I don't even care anymore. Sayonara, suckers! <laughs> As soon as he was gone, we all glanced around at each other. Hmm. So, what was that just now? Does that mean Monokuma doesn't know where she is either? Hmm. It would seem that way. You know? Where the heck could she have gone? Um. I don't think we should all go look for her. Don't, don't. <laughs> don't you think we should all go look for her? <laughs> And how would you suggest we approach that task? Even Monokuma can't seem to locate her. Very suspicious. Yeah. How could he not know where she is? Yeah, totally. So strange. Kyoko must have used that key to sneak into some unknown part of the school. But somewhere even Monokuma wouldn't notice. Where could it be? We spent the rest of breakfast talking about where Kyoko could have gone. Afterwards, we return to our rooms. Hmm. Whew! Breakfast didn't help me feel any more upbeat, that's for sure. I feel like this is more than just me staying up late last night. So we have some free time. Um, I'm trying to think of who we should chat up. Or should we go looking for Kyoko? I don't even know if we can go looking for Kyoko. Oh. Well, anyways, let's leave the room. Is our knife still there? And here is the survival knife that Toko found. Okay, good. No one's taking it. I mean, who do we have left? We've got Biakuya, we've got Toko, and we've got Hiro, right? That's it. And Hina, sorry. Forgot about Hina. Um. Dojo. Let's go talk to Hina. Where's that dojo? There it is. The dojo is very relaxing, anyways. Okay. Even if it's hard, you have to endure. Endure, endure. That's a quote from the famous marathon runner Samuel Winjiru. But every person's endurance has a limit. Hmm, should I talk to Hina for a while? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I think we need a change of pace. And when I think change of pace, you got it. I can only think 50 laps in the pool. Oh god. I changed my pace with Hina in the pool. Whew, that'd be tiring. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Uh, yeah, let's see. I haven't done the, uh, the game, the, the trading in thing in a while, but... I know we gave her the donut thing last time. Maybe she'll take... Eh, oh, we gave her the swimsuit also, didn't we? What else should we, would she take? What is this? Premier Gothic Luda Fashion Label Wonder Dungeon? Nah, I don't think that's her thing. Did we give her this? I don't remember. I know we gave her the donut floaty thing. What to give her? Just going through. Alter luck. Hmm. Okay, um... She has like sweet stuff, maybe she'd want Coca-Cola? Okay, Cola-Cola, that's my number one. Number one choice. Okay. 
other than that, I don't... Other than giving her the, the swimsuit again, or the donut, I don't know what to give her. I don't know what happens. Well, let's just see what happens if we give her two of the same thing. She'd be like, oh, you already gave that to me? Oh, okay, she doesn't, she doesn't mind. What? I can keep this, right? Right? <sighs> Yay, ultra stoked! Seeing Hina so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Oh, uh, hey, Makoto. I'm so tired. Yeah, you look pretty tired. What happened? Well... I woke up earlier than normal this morning, so I decided to do push-up, sit-up, squat set. I ended up doing a thousand of each. A thousand! Holy crap! Well, that would explain it. Aww. Tired. So tired. I want something sweet. I want those things you get when you mix flour, sugar, butter, and eggs. Then deep fry them. That would be... donuts? Oh, I know. You want some donuts, don't you? Um... Don't tell anyone, but there's actually a bunch of frozen donuts in the warehouse. Okay. Throw those in the microwave for a few seconds, and just imagine. Imagine the warm chewiness of that donut. You know what I'm saying, right? You, you'd eat the crap out of that, right? You really do love donuts, huh? Just a second! Is there anyone who doesn't? Who on earth, no! Who in the whole universe can say they hate donuts? Um... Think about the sensation of biting into a donut. First the sweetness floods your mouth, then the soft dough cushions you. Next, you get that hint of egg and butter, right? Your whole body starts to melt. You feel like you're falling into the center of the donut itself. And people talk about the donut effect. The donut effective? This has to be uh, the donut effect. That's what they're talking about. That's absolutely not true. Huh? Ah, I can't take it anymore. I'm drooling like Niagara Falls over here. Just a second. Get out of my way, Makoto, or I got an uppercut with your name on it. I'm not going to stop you, Hina. I'm not in the way. <laughs> Wait for me, got it, donuts. Else before she was done talking, Hina took off like a bat out of hell. Whenever I'm around her, I feel like I'm soaking in the essence of human vitality. We got more skill points, okay. Awesome. After I watched her run off, I went back to my room. So I think we have one more opportunity here. Mm. I feel even worse than I did this morning. My body feels like lead and now I'm getting chills. This is bad. I think I might be getting sick. Hmm. I wonder what kind of effect that's gonna have on the game if we actually get sick. <laughs> Anyways guys, I'm gonna wrap up this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, what I'm gonna do before the next episode is I'm gonna spend some time getting more gifts. So I'm just gonna, I'm actually just gonna use all my coins. I'm not gonna record it because I don't think that's, I don't know. I don't think it's particularly interesting unless there's like some overswell of like comments saying, I really wanna watch you record a uh, 15, 20, half an hour, I don't know how long it's gonna take video of you just gambling. Um, I'll just I'll just do it uh, so I have as many gifts as possible for the next free time. Uh, okay, that's it. This is Luckless Lovelocks, signing out for now, and I love you all. <laughs>